Hey YouTube, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. I want to give you the latest information and the latest news that I understand from the Ebola virus. It's August the 2nd, 2014. So, there's two Americans that were volunteering in West Africa and got sick. Uh, they got diagnosed with the Ebola virus. So they're coming back to the United States, to Atlanta, Georgia, to be treated. Uh, one's supposed to arrive today, and then the next one's supposed to arrive a few days from now. Uh, they're being treated at a special uh, unit at Emory University in Atlanta and from my understanding the CDC has several of these units uh, throughout the country and Atlanta just happens to house one. It's a very small unit. Um, it's completely sealed off from the hospital. Uh, even the lab work from the blood work is there housed inside this unit. So it's supposed to be sealed uh, so any infection uh, diseases like this uh, are sealed off and the threat of uh, spreading is zero they say minimum so uh, these patients are being brought to Atlanta to be taken care of what they're saying the early stages are is you get a fever a weakness sore throat muscle pain and a headache and then comes the vomiting and the diarrhea and you also get a rash then the later stages are you get liver failure and kidney failure and then comes internal bleeding so they're still saying that you can drop the mortality rate from a 90% to a 45% rate if you're treating early. Obviously they have no cure for this disease yet. So as my early video, earlier video I said that I would treat the symptoms, I think we're still going back to that same thing. If we have an outbreak with this, I would treat the symptoms. I would treat the fever, I would treat the dehydration from the vomiting and diarrhea, and keep your patient hydrated. I think that's going to be the best way to treat your patients at this point and isolate them okay there's some mixed stories out there whether this is a bloodborne or airborne everything i can read at this point is saying that this is a bloodborne it's passed by mucus blood stuff like that but there's some mixed stories out there saying this could be airborne so isolate your patients uh, you take uh, proper protection protecting yourself uh, against airborne or bloodborne pathogens here and then you isolate your patient I also read an article talking about this virus can live a long time outside of the host and on a dead host. So if that is the case, then disinfecting is huge, uh, cleaning your equipment, cleaning supplies. And then if you do have a, a, a person that's passed away who is deceased or dead, then you need to isolate their body as well because if this virus can live a long time on a dead host then you're still contaminating other people and they don't know how long this virus can live outside the host so those are a couple of things and like I said I would treat the patient treat the symptoms since there's no cure for the actual virus and then isolation uh, protect yourself that's gonna be the best cure for right now you know I hope this doesn't get out of hand I hope it doesn't spread I hope it's well contained which I hope and pray it is and we're just um, over prepared for this but if it's not then I'm trying to provide you information to stay safe uh, so you never know when you'll be the first responder please like share and comment on this video